This is a demonstration of what happens with a hexacopter when you lose a motor. And so I've just taken the hexacopter, the standard one in real flight. It's a flat hexa, uh, the X style um, motors. And what I'm going to do is just uh, arm it. And um, I've brought my throttle low, so but I'll, that's fine. I've lowered the throttle now. And I'm going to take off and get it up to a reasonable height. I'll get it up to about 20 meters or so. And that's about 20 meters there. So I'll level off. All right. So there we have a hexacopter happily loitering away. Little does it know that it's about to have uh, one motor fail. So um, what I'm going to do is go into the full parameter tree here. And I'll go to the um, sim engine parameters. And uh, um, the failure is going to be on the first motor here. And we're going to multiply the power on that first motor by zero. So when I write that, we are suddenly going to get a motor failure. Clang. We now have lost a motor. Now let's watch what happens. And I'll go back to the map so you can see. And you can see that it isn't yawing crazily. Um, it's actually got a little message about potential thrust loss. So Pilot has detected that thrust loss and it is trying to do the best it can to try to cope. Now what I'm going to do here is say, imagine it's out over a lake. I'm going to tell it to RTL. So it's going to do its very best to come back and see if it can survive this incident. Now notice it hasn't started spinning and it's starting to move here. And it's really going a little bit wild. I think if you were the operator, you'd be quite worried at this stage, right? But it is actually coming a little bit closer. This, by the way, I haven't done any tuning on this hexacopter. I just took this um, our default tune. <coughs> if it was tuned, it would actually do a little bit better. But as you can see, the vehicle is actually mostly stable and it is able to get approximate navigation in the general direction of home. So if it was further away, it can come back. But its navigation is rather badly off. All right. So then let's go back and uh, fix that parameter again and sim engine. And we're going to instead make it go to something like, say, 50% thrust loss on that motor rather than 100%. And now with 50% thrust loss on the motor rather than 100%, it's now in full control. And it's now able to come back and it's going to finish the RTL and it'll, able, it'll be able to land. It should start descending there now. So in fact, it just needs just a little bit of thrust left on that last motor um, to be able to be in full control. We could drop it down to probably 20% or so and still be in, in reasonable control. All right, so I just thought uh, that might be useful to see what happens to a hexacopter. Um, properly tuning it, it'll do a bit better, but um, it doesn't mean instant loss. And with the code in master, you don't actually get a massive yaw rate. Happy flying.